don't know if you remember this, but when we got back from Israel and the tent city was like just days old, I said to you, you know what? This is a perfect opportunity for Palestinian Israelis. They really have economic problems up the wazoo. They can never find affordable housing, housing at all. And this is, should be their demonstration as well. And you said, nah, it'll never happen. And the next day, Palestinians started to demonstrate as well. And the demonstrations spread to all over Israel, not just Tel Aviv, Haifa, Yafo, um, Tzvat, Kamiel. And the Arab citizens have joined these demonstrations, not as Arabs, and not out of discrimination. They've joined these demonstrations for the same reason as everybody else. They can't make their ends meet. And it's, to me, I was so buoyed by that because it was the first time that the others, the other Israel, got into the big tent. And what it reminded me of was last Friday, I woke up and Zabar's was on the front page of the New York Times. I'm Carol Zabar, by the way. And what were we on the Times, in the front page of the Times for? We have a salad, which we called lobster salad, that had no lobster in it. It had crayfish salad, which is a cousin of the lobster. And I thought to myself, well, actually, there's a comparison to Israel. Israel is the Jewish homeland. but. What's an Israeli Arab? What's a Palestinian Israeli? Is he a lobster? <laughs> Is he a crayfish? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what is he? What is this Palestinian who is a citizen of a Jewish homeland? And look, they're not, it's not a perfect analogy, but it really started thinking, what's in a name? What's in a name? People ate our lobster salad for 20 years and didn't say boo. Once they found out there was only crayfish in it, all hell broke loose. The same with Palestinian Israelis. They're unhappy. They are unhappy being called Arab Israelis. They say, I can't be an Israeli. I'm not a lobster. If you have anything to comment, please write us in. Thank you.